Hello and welcome to the video. This is the first video in a new iNav series. Now one of the things that I asked about at the end of December was what you wanted to see in 2018 and one of the big topics was more videos on iNav. So for those of you that haven't watched the channel for a long time, if you go and watch the iNav series, here's the one that I created about a year ago. I think I was probably one of the first to actually create an iNav series at the very early days of when iNav started to become a really big thing. Now, I'm not going to go into the details all about iNav. I'd recommend going and have a watching of the first couple of videos in that series. But iNav is a version of the Clean Flight Beta Flight family that has fantastic GPS support. It's also one of the few versions of that family that actually cares about Fixed Wing 2. Now, I am interested in using the latest version of iNav along with this flight controller to put it inside this model here. This is the ZOHD Orbit Wing. I had a look at before Christmas in 2017. It's a fantastic wing and it flies brilliantly. But after considering it for a couple of months, I've decided, you know what? Having iNav in there would mean an on-screen display and also the ability to use GPS modes, things like return to home and to be able to loiter it and park it in the air and things like that too. Now in this series, we are going to use this flight controller with iNav version 1.9. Now this is the F-35 Lightning flight controller from Furious FPV. Those who have heard of Furious probably know them more for things like this, which is the True D V 3.5 diversity module for Fat Shark goggles. Now I've got one of them, I'll be doing a video on it soon because they've updated the firmware again and changed a couple of things but I'm interested in using this setup because in here, there should be everything we need to use. And looking on the iNav website, iNav 1.9 has just come out and I've been kind of hanging on for that because the iNav release schedule has slowed down quite a bit for a couple of reasons, but mainly because most of the iNav stuff is pretty solid these days and now that's out it's a perfect time for me to use this board which is now supported in iNav 1.9 and show you all the latest and greatest features in there too. Now, we've already looked at that ZOHD Orbit wing, so again, I'll put the link there, so go and have a look at that if you're interested in the wing that we're going to pop it into. Let me just show you what comes as part of this kit uh, to give you an idea of what we're going to stick inside that ZOH Orbit kit. So if I open it up, there's uh, lots of bits and pieces in here. Uh, the main attraction is inside this box. So we have... A little pitot sensor that will give us air speed uh, that is a very interesting little feature i'm not sure if we're going to be able to fit that onto the wing but it's in the kit we have a dinky a little gps unit uh, now i've spoken to the guys at furious fpv uh, because this is a lot smaller than the one i tend to use but in their testing it seems to work fine so we will see then we have the main flight controller board itself now this is interesting because all the power wires are already wired in. We have all the connections here for the different peripherals and the servo outputs here too. So this should be really easy for us to put inside that ZOHD orbit wing because all of the connections pretty much are kind of made off. So the first thing we'll do in the first video is we'll probably end up flashing this and doing the basic configuration with iNav 1.9 but hopefully as you can see here, it's a slightly different setup and it's a little less finicky than some of the stuff that I've done with iNav already. We have a buzzer, hey, you always need a little buzzer. And we also have this little module here, which I'm guessing is either a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth module that will allow us to connect to the board wirelessly to do any changes. And that's quite cute because in iNav, there's also uh, some mission based flying support as well. In addition to those main bits, we get the tube here. This is the tube that actually connects to the airspeed sensor to give us the airspeed data. And then we have a really, really big bag of cables, which are all beautifully labeled up. And then we have a basic manual here, which is just a couple of sides, which is just really the very, very basic pieces on how you set it up. However, if you go on to the Furious FPV website, there's an awful lot more detail, including really smart stuff showing you how to do things like set up the VTAIL mixes, also doing things like setting up CRSF crossfire bits and bobs too. So 
join me in the next video where we will get the ZOHD orbit out uh, and we'll also connect this up to the computer and start to configure everything and having a look at how we take this from a collection of bits to a tuned flying INAV wing. If you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.